Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's exam prep. So today I am here in front of you with a very important notification that is coming from the side of Nalco. And you know when we are talking about Nalco, it is a Navratna Central PSU. So when we are talking about the number of vacancy they are giving. So you can see that guys, that for mechanical 127 total number of posts out of which 52 for general. 13 for EWS, 34 for OBC, 8 for ST, 20 for SC, 6 for PWBD. Similarly, you see electrical 100 total, uh, 40 for general, 10 for EWS, 27 for OBC, 7 for ST and 16 for SC and PWBD 5. Likewise, instrumentation total 20 and you can see the category wise bifurcation. Then for metallurgy, 10 total, okay, and then for chemical, and then for chemistry, chemistry is for MSc. So guys, total 277 vacancies are there. I would like to tell you a very important disclaimer. These vacancies are from gate 2023 scorecards. Okay. So now we will see further detailing of all these. Then they are talking about uh, that requisite qualification. You should be full time regular BTEC in engineering or technology with 65% marks for general EWS OBC. And for SCST, 55% marks will be okay. Okay. And they are also saying the total maximum marks and total marks obtained for all years. Means all four years uh, complete they are talking about. Okay. Then for chemistry, we are not going to see it is mentioned there. Then you can also see the CGPA or OGPA or letter grade in degrees awarded equivalent percentage of marks. So you need to use the equivalent percentage of marks based on the formula mentioned on, on to that. Okay. And Nalco is also saying that whatever you are saying, they will be going as per your uh, declaration, declaration. If anything will be there in the declaration form or you can say whatever form you will be filling, which you don't have the document to support, then your candidature will be cancelled. Okay. So you can see now what are the branches eligible. Like for the mechanical post, mechanical and production engineering candidates can apply. For electrical post, electrical and power engineering students can apply. For instrumentation, electronics, instrumentation, telecom, electrical engineering, BTEC students can apply. For metallurgy, metallurgical, for chemical, only chemical and for chemistry, MSc, chemistry or AIC can apply. So I would like to tell you guys here they are talking about your BTEC branch. Okay. So if your BTEC is from production and industry, uh, production engineering, like you can see production engineering, then also you can apply for the mechanical post. Okay. They are not talking out here the gate paper code. Now age limit when we are talking about is upper age limit is 30 years on 2nd April 2024. Okay. Selection process. Nalco is going to utilize your gate score. They have clearly mentioned only gate 2023, neither 22 nor 24. And they are also mentioning one thing that after uh, from this gate score, they will be calling you for interview and that interview uh, when we are talking about they will be calling for interview they have also mentioned that ki they will be giving you the traveling allowance for that okay so they have also mentioned that ki when we are talking about gate 2023 score they will be calling in a ratio of 10 is to 1 or 1 is to 10 means for one post 10 students will be called they have also mentioned like let us say if some students uh, like let us say they are calling 500 students and 501 student is also having the same marks, same rank, same gate score. Then they will not follow this and they will be calling that one student also, two students also. So if they are following 1 is to 10 ratio, after that also if some students are there having same rank, same score. In the, you can say, five, let us say 501 to 505, these 5 students are also having the same rank, same score. So they will also be included. Okay. So they will also be given chance. Okay. Now, my dear, when we are talking about the gate paper code, which gate paper code will be applicable? So, for mechanical post, you can have BTEC in mechanical, you can have uh, BTEC in production and industrial, but your gate score will be considered of mechanical engineering paper. That's why I always say to the production students also that they must appear for mechanical engineering paper. Okay. For electrical, they may be from power, but their gate paper code will be electrical only. For instrumentation, their gate paper code should be IN. For metallurgy student, their gate paper should be empty. Okay. Now, my dear, we are moving for this. Uh, moving further. They have also mentioned uh, only for if the candidates uh, obtain more than or equals to the qualifying marks. Okay. That's fine. 
Now we are talking about the final selection. They are saying 90% weightage will be given to the gate score. 10% weightage will be given to the interview. So you can see majority weightage is for the gate score only. Only 10% for the interview they have kept. Now they are talking about compensation and package. So you can see as this is the grade of E1. So you will be getting selected candidate will be placed in the pay scale of 40,000, 3%, 140,000 during one year of training with the starting basic salary of 40,000 rupees. Irrespective of their previous experience, okay, there won't be any protection of pay upon successful completion of the training subject to fulfilling the requirement performance and all. They will be absorbed as assistant manager of E1 grade. And then your package will be 60,000 to 180,000 with one additional increment. And they are also saying, beside this basic pay, you will be getting DMS allowance and you will also be getting that cafeteria, HRA, medical facility, self-independent performance related pay and all other things will be there. That PPF gratuity will all be there. Okay, now the placement. So they are saying the selected candidates shall undergo one year on the job training at different location of the company during the training period or after absorption. Candidate may be posted anywhere. Okay, uh, you need an office of Nalko. Kahi bhi beja ja sakta hai. You have to be ready for that. Reservation and relaxation would be as per the uh, norms of the government for the age limits as well. Like you, everybody know that for age limit, upper age limit for SCST is five years more than general. Three years uh, relaxation for OBC candidates. Okay, 15 years for PWBD candidates. Then there is a service agreement board. The selected candidate at the time of joining will be requiring to sign a contract. Okay, where service board will be 3 lakh or 4 lakh rupees for training imparted abroad on non-judicial stamp paper of rupees 1500 to serve the company for a minimum of 4 years. So if you are joining, you have to serve for four years. Otherwise, this much amount you have to pay back. Medical fitness is required at the Nalco. So obviously, after interview, you have to go through a medical test. Then application fees is for OBC and EWS and general candidate is 500 rupees. And for other candidates, including departmental candidates is only 100 rupees. Okay. Then you can pay it through internet banking or credit card, debit card. Okay. And application fee or processing fees is non-refundable. And they are also saying that how to apply, you will be going to the Nalco website and there you can go to the apply now and you can go like you have applied for many, many, many uh, examination from the, your childhood. And they are also saying all these detail you need to tell about the payment, about your BTEC, about your percentage, about your gate score, everything will be, they will be asking in the form, your photographs and all. Okay. Now we are talking about... Uh, the important thing that is the dates, okay, because all other things are the same only. Dates, dates are the last important thing. So opening of online submission of the application is 4-3-2024, which is 4 March 2023. And you can apply till 2nd April, okay, so one month is there. Don't wait for the last date, okay. And they are saying last date for submission of online application, this is for the payment. Online application is they are giving one hour more. Okay. So guys, those who are there with gate 23 scorecard, this is a golden opportunity because with gate 2023 majority students are already settled down. Now those students who did not get any PSU at that time, they have golden chance. If I am correct to you, if you will see gate 2023 recruitments were still going on. So I feel those students who are having rank under 1000, if you did not get till now any PSU, you have golden chance here. Okay, you should apply and 1000 rank I told for general category. Even after that, if you have rank, you should apply because number of posts are very large here. Okay, and majority of the students already settled down. So you have golden chance even after 1000 rank, you should apply. Okay, uh, so if you would be asking me for the safe rank, at least I would like to say if you have under 1500, you should apply. I'm not saying you will get selected. That depends obviously. But still, you should try for this. Okay, rest choice is yours. Okay, so I feel, guys, uh, you are uh, getting benefit of our videos as we are going to make all such videos for your benefits. And we are coming up for every detail, whatever notifications are coming. Some of you may questions or how you are saying 1500, we shall try. Because I would like to tell you, like last year for GATE 2022 scorecard, if you will see, uh, NTPC cutoff was uh, 992. 992 gate rank 
was the last student who got selected. That's why I say that you should try at least. Okay, hoga nahi hoga, we cannot say. Okay, but you should try because the range you can say as already many students should have been settled now and also. One more thing, some students also appeared for gate 24 out of them. Maybe their 24 performance is better than 23, then they will try with that to the PSUs of IOCL and all. Okay, so on that basis, I am saying. So, goodbye for this particular video. Stay tuned with us. In the future, you will get more benefits as we are coming up with all exams and uh, all the important videos, all the mock interviews, all the mock tests. So, goodbye and stay tuned with us.